Once again, this is KVCI, George Boston Rams. Once again, we're getting closer to the final count of who won the presidency of the United States of America. Florida was in question, but it's not in question anymore. Look at that, 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 look at there. And then look at here, look at here, look at there. Now, the question remains, how could it be that following the election, the Valdosta Daily Times and Kay Harris and others at the time could not put a picture of the President of the United States on the front page of the Valdosta Daily Times. If they could do it in China, England, and in other foreign nations around the world, why couldn't Valdosta Daily Times in the state of Georgia put the picture of the President on the front page of the Valdosta Daily Times? Once again, I want to say to you, we must keep in mind that Valdosta give home to Moody Air Force Base, Georgia, where our sons and daughters deploy to go on foreign battlefields and, if necessary, to die. Yet, their commander-in-chief was once again ignored, just like what I was told by military personnel and civilians at Moody, that there are no pictures on the first floor of the 23rd Rescue Fighter Wing at Moody Air Force Base. Why is that? Why is there no picture of the President at the 23rd Combat Rescue Wing in Moody Air Force Base, Georgia? Just food for thought. We want you to check it out. We've been fighting for three years and asking questions, and we still are asking the question to the wing commander, vice wing commander, and the personnel personal affairs officer that I visited several times once again. We in South Georgia give home to Moody Air Force Base, Valdosta State University, Georgia Wiregrass Technical College, Francis Lake Golf Course, Kindaloo Golf Course, and visitors that visit the Wild Adventures theme park. And it seems like Valdosta has become a wild adventure and we can do better here in Georgia and in the United States of America to respect the Commander-in-Chief of our sons and daughters who are fighting both foreign and domestic enemies in 2012. What say you, the good people of South Georgia, the state of Georgia? Should not there be a picture on the first floor of our sons and daughters, Commander-in-Chief, the one that sent them in the compact? The one that send them into combat, if necessary, must fight and die under his authorities in the same manner that we did the other 43 all-white male presidents. Don't condemn me, Jesus said, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set and make you free. Thank you, Patrick Davis, for this information out of Macon. Keep spreading your truth because you understand what Jesus said that only the truth will set us free. Bye-bye. We gone.